Hi everyone, I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, so in this video, we are going to uh, focus on topics, notification. So what are the use of topic notification? Why do we want to use that and why do we need to use that topic notification and what are the benefits? Uh, so we are going to use the previous uh, project that we used for notify and send push notification. And uh, if you haven't watched that video, please go and check that out. I will also attach the link in the description. And I have also attached the project uh, link in the description. So we are already running the application. And so why we need the topic? First, uh, let me clear that why we need the topic notification. And in the Firebase documentation, you can simply find, go to the cloud messaging inside that we have a uh, uses and you can find something called topics and you can see subscribe to topics so why we need to need this topic notification so let's say you have an application where you like post like facebook we share post like facebook so whenever you uh, put a comment on someone post so each time there is a comment in that post you receive a notification right so uh, we know how to send notification to a multiple device using that registration id let me share the let me recall your memory a bit so we can simply pass registration ids and uh, you can pass an array to send notification to multiple device and let's say so if you are going to implement this uh, to uh, implement that that means uh, when you put a comment on someone video so you will receive a notification each time there is a comment so if there is a four or three or five or ten user that is fine that you can do that but let's say you have thousand user the thousand or maybe uh, two thousand user are doing comment on that particular post so you cannot uh, call an api to get the token of all 1000 or 2000 user and make an array and then call the API, right? It's hard to do what also it affect your backend as well. So, uh, for that particular, that, that part kind of, uh, that kind of topic, we use a topic, uh, topic notification. Also, give me you, uh, let me give you another example to make it more clear. Uh, so whenever you, uh, uh, subscribe on YouTube channel uh, so whenever you subscribe on YouTube channel and if you don't subscribe please make sure to subscribe uh, let me uh, open that let me open my channel so you can see so you can see uh, okay let me do do that in incognito mode because i'm already logged in using that particular email id so <clears throat> if you subscribe over here so after subscribing to the youtube channel and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and you can see uh, you can always see a icon to uh, for not receive notification whenever i upload a new video so let's say i right now i have a 2.4k uh, uh, 4k subscriber that is pretty low because you guys are not subscribing yeah so uh, please make sure to do that and let's say someone have uh, 1 lakh or maybe 2 lakh uh, 2 lakh 2 lakh uh, subscribers so each time they upload a video so youtube not going to uh, get the token of each uh, subscriber and call that uh, api to i mean call this api to send the notification that hey this one is uploaded a new video go check out so what they exactly do so each time, uh, so in that particular uh, reason, this this very specific reason, this kind of uh, thing, we need this topic. So without, uh, we don't need to pass, uh, we don't need to pass any kind of uh, token. We just need to, uh, whenever you enable the, uh, or whenever you enable the notification, or whenever you put a comment in a someone post, you just subscribe to that particular thread. That means you just subscribe to that topic. So whenever you, they want to send a notification based on that comment or based on that um, uh, YouTuber that upload the video, 
they just they, they're just going to upload uh, send a notification based on that particular topic so based on that topic everyone that was subscribed to the channel or if, uh, everyone who put a comment on that particular post they all are going to receive notification and you can simply uh, manage and manipulate the notification body as well based on the notification you're sending so for that what you need to do uh, we just need to call the same api that we used to send normal push notification and notification to multiple device you can simply call that api and we can also pass data if we want to and this thing is mainly required for uh, handling notification click and do something based on notification click and then we have notification and we have the body and title you can simply send the image as well as i shared in the last video and in the two section you need to pass slash then topics and the name of the topic so based on the name of the topic uh, you just subscribe to that thread and each time you are going to call the uh, each time if you subscribe to that particular thread on that topic if they want to send the notification based on that topic you will receive the notification and, uh, and obvious you need to pass content type application slash json and inside the authorization you need to pass key equals to your server key i already shared how to get the server key in the previous video if you haven't watched that please go and check it out okay uh, so what do you need to do to subscribe to a topic so for that you just need to do this simple thing to subscribe to a topic you just need to call the messaging and then dot subscribe to topic and the name of the topic and inside the then console you just it's just a console to uh, make sure that you subscribe the topic you are not going to see that because you are not going to uh, see that that they hey i am subscribed to the topic i will get a notification they don't want that it's just for you for the developer okay so let me do that so we don't need this button anymore and we're going to simply copy one of the button and change that subscribe to topic and we're going to also define a different function as well for the topic and what you need to do you just need to call this to subscribe to the topic so the subscribe to topic the name could be anything you can pass anything you want so it's based on the developer who is developing the application so uh, the name over here needs to be the same when you are sending the notification so if let me if we click on subscribe to topic we can see the console over here that subscribe to topic and if i wish to send a notification based on the topic if i click on next we can see the message id and we supposed to receive a notification based on our concept if we go to the application we can see fcm topic whether message this is a topic notification message so let's say thousand and thousand of user or maybe hundred or maybe two hundred of user are subscribed to the topic. Whenever you call this API based on the topic, so all of the users are going to receive the notification. Uh, you can need to call a single API and based on that API, everyone on that particular topic they are subscribed, they're going to receive a notification. As simple as that. You don't need to call an API to get all the token. You don't need to do a uh, for, for each loop to through the token to send notification. You can simply subscribe them to a topic and based on the topic, you can simply send the notification. And if you're implementing it in a more further way, because uh, you're not going to have a single topic in your application, right? So you just need to uh, make sure the topic you are storing inside the database as well. So whenever you need to uh, send notification based on the token, based on the topic, you can simply do that as simple as that let me uh, send a notification weather message let's name it weather message 2 so if we click on next uh, we can see the weather message 2 as well 
and if we change the weather like topic name let's say weather 2 and if you click on send we can see that a message is uh, sent but we cannot see any message over here because this particular user is not subscribed to this weather to a topic so we're not going to receive the part this notification because we need to subscribe to weather 2 and if we change that to weather 2 and save and click on subscribe to topic again that means we are subscribed to weather 2 now and if you click on send notification and come over check over here so you can see the notification right here yeah so there's this is the easy way to uh, handle notification like send notification when you're, when you're using the, uh, sending the send notification to same notification to multiple device this is the easiest way to do that you also have one more thing called group uh, so group or topics are kind of same things so you can simply use topic as well uh, if you like to you can go to the document and check the group as well yeah so this is the one part how can you simply uh, send notification using topic we have another thing called unsubscribe to topics so why do we need to implement this as well if you remember if you put a post on someone if you put a comment on someone post in facebook so you receive a notification for further comments on that particular post right you also have a option to stop the notification so when you do that that means when you stop the notification that means you are unsubscribing to the topic unsubscribing from the topic because you don't want to receive notification from for that particular topic so for that particular scenario because sometimes it's user getting and let's say i am i uh, comment on a friend's post and everyone is trying to everyone is putting their comment and i am getting notification so i might be getting irritating like it's pretty irritating for me to i don't want to uh, see other others uh, other people's comment so I can simply uh, unsubscribe from that topic. So for that scenario, we need this uh, unsubscribe from topic. Let me show you as the. Let me show you this as well. So instead of subscribe, we're going to say unsubscribe. And copy the same function. So we have unsubscribe to topic now and if you check again if you send notification based on weather 2 we are receiving the notification because we haven't unsubscribed that yet so if you click on unsubscribe to topic you can see in the console unsubscribe from the topic and if you, uh, you don't have a notification on the notification bar if you click on send now and check over here we are not receiving notification anymore because we unsubscribe it we unsubscribe from the topic so that's make it simple i guess everyone understand what i just explained it makes your job pretty much easy to handle you don't need to do a lot of things using the token you just simply use topic to implement the stuff i guess everyone is understood everyone uh, understood that yeah so this is uh, pretty easy to implement and you can do that and i also shared the project link in the description if you like this video please make sure to like it and put your thought in the comment section and let me know the next video topic as well and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe to get the notification so subscribe to my topic and you will get notification and make sure to press the bell icon as well yeah, that's all from this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.